you doing? God bless you. My name is Sister Vanessa McClendon, and this is the Lord's Name is to be Praised Ministry. Praise God. From the rising of the sun and the going down of the same, the Lord's Name is to be praised. Pray, praise the Lord. God is so good all the time. He's just a blessing. He woke us up this morning in our right mind, able to go about our activities of our limbs. Thank the Lord. We're going to go into um, 1 Timothy chapter 4. We're going, to, we're going to cover verse 1 through 16. Praise the Lord. And praise God. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Before I forget it, I just, before I forget to, to give you that greeting, I thank God for Jesus. Jesus is the reason for this season. Thank God. You know, every day is celebrating the birth of Christ. That's not the exact day that he was born on, but every day is celebrating the birth of Christ. And we, but the biggest part is when he, he suffered and died on, on the cross for the sins of the world. Praise God. Salvation is open up for everyone. Praise God. They want to give their life to the Lord. That's the best part. Being a child of God, serving a wonderful God. He is so good. Praise God. Father, we just thank you for your goodness and mercy, all that you've done, your love, guidance, and joy. Have your way in our lives, Lord God. Oh, God, you know the need, whatever the need is, Lord God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Touch the body. If people don't feel well, Lord God. Oh, God, we just thank you for all. Think, open up our understanding of your precious word. Give me what to say and how to say it, Lord God. Oh, God, look on our pastors and ministers and strengthen them and their, their companion. Have your way, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And let the word be applied to my, to my heart that I might not sin against thee. Lord, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank the Lord. Ain't God good? Praise God. He's sweeter, he's sweeter than honey in the honeycomb. We Get your Bibles out. I want you to read along with me. And we're going to cover Timothy. Timothy was a, uh, he was a young pastor, praise God, in the church of Ephesus. And uh, this is a letter sent from Paul to him. It's in an encouraging letter. And it, and it tells us to, lets us, the, uh, lets us know there's warning to watch out for uh, false teaching, false preaching. And uh, we have to, uh, I would say, um, praise God. We, you know, we have to, we know the people that be ministering to us by the fruit that they bear. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. This is a good word. Uh, this is a big job. Uh, God has called him in the position as a pastor, or overseer of a church. And there's a lot of good nuggets in here for us, for the, the congregation, for the people. Praise God. So Paul wrote this, uh, I can say, Paul wrote this to Timothy to encourage him. We all need encouragement. Praise God. And uh, of his responsibility for overseeing the work of the Ephesus church. And possibly he other churches too in the in the providence of asia he was a young pastor okay and and you know every follower every follower of god that's born again a believer have a relationship with the lord we must contend for the faith praise god and avoid false teaching every follower must stand firm and, and persevere we're going to go through praise god and you know you got to hold it you got to stick with solid doctrine doctrine is teaching the word based upon the word of God, solid doctrine. Praise God. Praise God. You know, you make your call and election sure. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we know they're wolves. I believe Jesus said wolves in sheep clothing. Praise God. Those are the false prophets out there. Hallelujah. Um, first, first Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 reads just this. Now the Spirit, the Spirit is the Holy Ghost. It's the Trinity. It's the Trinity. Uh, the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit, praise God, speaketh, it's speaking, it's, it, it's a he, and personality, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, but this is, a, he's speaking, the Holy Ghost, he speaks expressly, I mean, he's speaking very clearly, and I thank God for the Holy Ghost, the leaders and guides in all truth, it would speak to your heart, praise God, it speaks to your heart, that in the latter days, this is, these are the last days, some shall depart from the faith, some people are going to Turn away from the faith, you know, from the faith. And, you know, we remember the part where the sower sows the seed and on good ground, then he sows the seed on bad ground. And then the problems of life come up and he leaves. The situation Bible says, if you put your hand to the plow, you're not fit for the kingdom. Praise the Lord. 
not fit for the kingdom. You got a mind had to be made up. I'm going to serve the Lord. My whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Praise God. But it's saying here in the last days, the days, uh, the last days or latter times, some shall depart from the faith. They're going to leave. They're going to turn away. And they're going to be listening, having itchy ears. They're going to be giving heat, taking heat. The reason why is because the people are going to take heed to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. You know, man is drawn by his own lust and enticed. Praise God. Uh, God doesn't tempt any man. The devil tempts people. But uh, the seducing, seducing spirits. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, these are deceiving people, tricking people. And a person, they don't want to hear. They turn away because they don't turn away from the truth. And when you turn away from the truth, you're on the devil's territory. And God will help you re believe a lie rather than the truth. If you want to, uh, if you don't take that, uh, the word in, praise God. If you don't take it in, praise God. Uh, this is a seducing spirit. These are satanic spirits. We see those things going on. Uh, satanic spirit. Uh, and doctrines of devils. These are demonic people that are, are not serving the Lord. Are teaching demonic teaching. We can see uh, their um, demonic teaching. Okay. We're told to try the spirit by the spirit and see it, see it of God. We're to line up by the word of God. Praise God. Praise God. We all, we need to study to show yourself approved unto God. We need to know God's word. Praise God. And thank God for the Holy Ghost who opens it up to us. And we got ministers and preachers and teachers. And, and just to teach the word, you got to give account of what, if you're a teacher or a preacher, you got to give account of every word that you, that, that uh, you have a little higher uh, give account of, of, of when you go when you're teaching God's word. Praise God, praise God. But you can. Uh, we don't go by feelings. You know, sometimes people say, I, "I this is how I feel," and this and that. No, we walk by faith, not by sight. We got to learn His word. Praise God, praise God by faith. Praise God, not by feelings. Seducing, uh, seducing spirits. This is the this is what uh, in the letter from Paul to Timothy. And Paul, Timothy is warning, uh, I mean, Paul is warning Timothy of, of the, the uh, wolves in sheep clothing. Jesus said wolves in sheep clothing. They're out there. But God is keep us from falling. And, the, you know, the doctrines of devils is a spirit of error. Praise God. So Revelation 2 and 29 says, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. You when the Lord, the Bible said, The day you hear my voice, Harden not your heart as in a provocation. Listen and take heed as in a provocation. You can provoke God to anger. And he's angry at the wicked every day. And God is dealing. We can. Uh, we don't want to quench the spirit of the Lord. And the Lord is dealing with your heart. But you can see these people, are. Uh, there's a turning away. And uh, there's turning away because of the, they got the ears itchy for seducing spirits. They're listening. And doctrines of devils. Okay, and uh, Timothy 2, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. These are last days. We spoke about the last people will be departing from the faith in the last days. The perilous times are dangerous times. Dangerous times. Praise God. For many shall come in my name and say, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Praise God. But the Bible said we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. God will keep us from falling. Uh, Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity, that cell kind of sin has a bound, but sin a bound, but grace much more bound. God is able to save to the utmost. For the love of many has waxed cold, that we used to be with the Lord, they turned away. Praise God. Looking at the things of the world and uh, uh, the problems and situations, the love of many shall wax cold. They were hot, but they wax cold. Praise God. God is so good. But you know them by the fruit they bear. Praise God. To know the, fa the false prophets. Praise God. Praise God. And you know, if it be possible, you know, if the devil was possible, the devil would try to deceive the very elect. But he can't. Praise God. God is in us. It, I can, God keeps us from falling. He's in uh, Praise God. We walk in the spirit. We obey the Lord. Lord, keep us. Praise God. No matter what uh, trial, uh, temptation. Because there's no temptation. You're taking it. It's not common to man. With the, with the uh, temptation, he'll make a way and escape. And he'll make a way that you can bear it we, through him. It's the only way we can bear it, the situation. And God's going to work things out for our good. And, and 
of praise God. Second Timothy 3 and 2. For man shall love, this is scripture still in talking about, I'm still on verse 4 and 1, trying to describe more about it, departing from the faith. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covenants, wishing that you had someone else's stuff, or, or boasters, bragging. You know, we boast in the Lord about the Lord. This is who we boast on, proud, being headed, looking down on others, blaspheming, disrespecting, reverence, reverence instead of reverencing the things of the Lord or holy things, blaspheming, saying anything, disrespectful, or disobedient to parents, even the children, disobedient to parents. This will tell you about the last days, unthankful. Not pre don't appreciate what somebody has given you. It's the Lord that put on people's heart to do something for you. Anyway, unholy and sin, a sin. Okay, and so this tells us more about the last days. Without natural affection, we see mothers sometimes don't have the natural affection for their children. Husbands don't have the natural affection for the family. Praise God. And uh, truth breakers. You know, you keep going back. You say you're going to do something and keeping your breaking promises and false accuser, accusing someone falsely. And, and people, do, I've seen that de done deliberately. I, I hate to bring up, uh, well, I won't say it, but they know the truth, but they lie. Uh, and, and, you know, the devil is the father of lies. And, uh, and you know, no lie is going to tear in the Lord's sight. Incontinence, not having self-control, not out of control, temper, incontinence, temper. You know, anger rests in the bosom of a fool. These are people that are departing from the faith, listening to seducing spirits. Praise God. Fierce, violent, despise of those that do good. You're doing good, serving the Lord. Don't I hate to see you doing good. Praise you. It bothers the, the world. The devil, it bothers the devil to see you doing good. Don't, uh, praise God. Traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure. Than lovers of God. I'd rather be out there doing. I'd rather not even be in church today. I'd rather be out there at a ball game somewhere. I don't want. I'd rather uh, not. Uh, I'd rather do anything else but be in the service and and, and serve the Lord. And he's worthy of all praise. It says love. Of, uh, nothing wrong with pleasures of things, but it's got to be in the uh, in God's plan. Praise God in the will of the Lord. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form, this is hypocrite, having a form of godliness, but denying the power there, have not accepted Christ. He's not in your heart, praise God. And he's not on stride with man always. You know, if you don't want the Lord in your heart, he, if, you, if you accept God and you make up your mind, you don't want him in your heart, he's not going to stay there, he'll leave. Praise God, praise God. Having a form of godliness, looking church, you're a hypocrite, but denying can't live right. Uh, for such turn away praise God we can't live right unless the Lord is in us praise God and they turn away their eyes from the truth don't want to hear the truth but they rather hear a lie or some made up story or some fable you know this is the tr turn away so you, you know you so you can keep doing what you're doing praise God okay and John 16 and 13 I'm still in the first verse of uh, first Timothy 4 and 1 I'm just a background scripture to help bring out more understanding how be it when he, this is the, the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you in all truth. We're speaking about the spirit said expressly that some shall depart from faith. This is a he right here. 16 and 13 is the Holy Ghost. He, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he shall show you things to come. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, somehow thank the Lord for discernment. Let us know things to come. The Holy Ghost. Praise God. 2 Corinthians 11, 13. Praise God. And he said, he will guide you in all truth. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 13. For such. And we talk, there were false apostles. We were talking about that first verse. Uh, first verse uh, 4 and 1. There later time. Later uh, latter times some shall depart from the faith because they don't want to they, they taking heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils teaching doctrines is teaching of devils uh, demonic praise God for such and also there are also uh, false apostles say there are such false apostles they're misleading workers working for the devil misleading 
transformed himself into the apostle of Christ. And we know when the Lord was going through, uh, going through, um, oh goodness, going through the wilderness, how the devil was testing the Lord to turn the, those stones into bread and things like that. You know, and Jesus said, uh, man shall live with bread alone, but every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. And also jump off the pinnacle of the temple. Praise God. Took him to Jerusalem. Praise God. And told him to jump off. But he, he said, let him know the angels will catch him. But the Lord, he, he, he uh, the devil said a half truth. So it's a lie. He didn't say it. Praise God. Uh, we don't tempt the Lord, that guy, but. This is letting us know there's temptation out there we, to let us know to beware. Uh, letting us beware of the enemy. Praise God. As he come in, as a, he come in like the flood, but the Spirit of the Lord lifts up the standard against him. But, but no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into, don't be surprised, into an angel of light. Fool you. Praise God. Until he reveal himself. Praise to you. But uh, we have to walk in the Spirit and feel the love. God will guide us. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Lead us and guide us in all truth. But 2 Corinthians eleven fifteen. Therefore, it is no great thing for his ministers also be transferred as the minister of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. And there be an end to come as false prophet, false teacher, in the lake of fire. Hell be cast in there too. Praise God. God is not, God is, has given us ministers at, the, at his own heart. To love the Lord. Love, the, love his flock. John 16, 14. He shall glorify me. We can glorify him. For he shall uh, receive a mind and shall show it unto you. Thank the Lord. So I thank God for, we're going to go, Timothy, the second verse now. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. We discussed that one real good. And uh, the, how the Lord is speaking to us. He speaks to us by his word. The Holy Ghost speaks to us. You know, when people give their life to the Lord, when you're being convicted, the world is, the the world uh, is being convicted when they need to get it right with the Lord. Praise God. The Lord, the Holy Ghost will convict you, let you expose what you look like to God, and let and He will direct you to Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But He's speaking to the, the pastor expressly, it's clear, clear as day, clear that some going to depart from the faith in this group. There's, and, and yet today, Depart from, but you ain't got to be, you, we got to be uh, wind, as a song, wrapped up, tying up, and tangled up in Jesus. God to keep us from falling if you want to be kept. Praise God. We can't out there be, go to the, as close to the edge as we can, looking over to the enemy's territory. We got to be uh, uh, tied up, wrapped up, and tangled up in Jesus. Praise God. First Timothy 4 and 2 says here, speaking lies and hypocrisy. So that first verse, speaking lies and hypocr hypocritical. These are the those those uh, false teachers, though, seducing. Uh, praise God, the people that departed from the faith, and they're because they're listening to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devil, and and they were and speaking lies. They like the people were listening to speaking lies and hypocrisy, living one thing and doing another, having that conscience seared. They pass feelings. Talking about church person, but their feelings they don't have no compassion, they don't have no love. They don't have any, they don't have the Christ in them. Praise God. God's gone. Okay. Here, uh, praise God. Verse uh, Ephesians four and fourteen says, "Then we henceforth, this is henceforth now on, we make some when Christ come in our heart, be no more as children tossed to and fro. When the word come forth, praise God. You got to put it, hold on to that word, hold on, praise God to that word, praise God, and stand." With your loins girded about you, praise God, praise God. When you have the whole armor of God, the shield of faith, and whatever the devil be bringing these lies to you, it should, it will not quench the fiery darts of the, the wicked one, because you have we have have faith in God, trust in the Lord by His word. God is faithful, but we're not no longer like we was in the past. No more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind and doctrine, every wind and new doctrine that comes out for the slight. Of men deceiving or cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive you. Praise God. False teaching that conflicts against God's word. Praise God. Praise God. And uh, Hebrews 13 and uh, Hebrews, I'm no, 1 Timothy 4 and 3, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them that which believe and know the truth. So he's also saying that people are departing from. The faith. 
praise God, listening to seducing spirits, these false preachers, these false teachers, and maybe teaching about not marrying and 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 there's nothing wrong with not marrying if you if if it's in you know God gives people grace and he, if if um and uh, keeps you from falling. We're saved through grace through faith, praise God. But to 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 uh because in the Old Testament the priests had wives. In the Old Testament had wives, but um praise God. But uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I think Paul was he he um God you know God to keep you. Praise God. And he, he was okay in the Lord. God will keep you from falling. Praise the Lord. Single or married. Marriage is animal. People living like, trying to live like married people. They're not married. That's sin. But I would say marriage is animal and all. And the bed undefiled. But homongers, if you have a companion out there, you're sleeping with someone or adulterer, you're married and sleep with other people, God's going to judge you. Praise God. You got to live. It's not your body. Your body was bought with a price. And we were, the next part is to saying commanding these, these these false teachers are commanding not to marry, not to um, abstain from meat. God has blessed you to have. He created meat. There's nothing wrong with eating meat. If you want to abstain from certain things, it's all right. But you bless it and and uh, thank the Lord for it, and you can enjoy it. Which God had God created that meat, and and to be received with thanksgiving by thanking God for of them. That believe and know the truth. God created those those uh, animals uh, that we the food that we eat. God wants to thank Him for it. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And uh, it's nothing nothing wrong with being uh, uh, single or married. But this is a you're saying here forbidding these these uh, people that are teaching forbidding. It's nothing wrong with marriage. Beautiful. It's wrong to put up a if God put in your heart. There's some people. That who God used who not to marry, and it's okay because you know we're not ready married or not. We are of the Lord, and we are her vessels where God can use to do His to have His will to in us to give Him glory and honor. Praise God! Our happiness and joy, we need Jesus. Whatever you do and word do, we need the Lord because we're saved through faith, and, and not because of a, you got married to somebody or anything, but it's because of through faith. Are you uh, for the grace of God? You saved through faith. Praise God! And I thank the Lord for my companion and it's uh there's a time where there's a waiting period for people till god oh uh, uh, reveal you a mate well we got a well, main thing we need jesus praise god you need jesus praise god and uh, paul for uh, you know the bible said in genesis uh that he, uh, it is good for a man not to be alone someone that's out there and you know you, you know, you're living in sin you need to go on and get married just get to, the best to marry god on his marriage Marriage, and God to keep you. Paul, God, God to keep you. Praise God. Praise God. Do more. Be able to be available. You don't have no, nobody, nothing, no one um, to hold you up or anything. You have a, a, a God used Paul mightily. He was uh, by. He was single, and he had God kept him. Praise. He'll keep everybody. Keep anybody from falling. It's a big work out there for the Lord. Great work. First uh, uh, Corinthians uh, ten and thirty one. Whether they're well, therefore, we were speaking about eating. Uh, of, this is uh, people, false prophet teaching things and forbidding to marry, commanding, commanding not to, to abstain from meats. Praise God. And there's some food that will cause you, it's not good for your health. But it's, it's not, God, you just have to thank God for the food. And whatever somebody said before you, thank the Lord. And, you, and endure to eat it unto the Lord. Praise God. Um, praise God. Um, I think it was Corinthians. But whatever, therefore, as we, wherefore, First Corinthians 10 and 31, wherefore, therefore, you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do it all in the glory of the Lord. You can thank God for the water that you can drink, the juice that you can drink. Praise God for your body and food. It's wise to eat healthy, and it's a wise thing. I'm trying to do the best with the help of the Lord to do that myself, to do even better with the help of the Lord. Because I won't eat this. I mean, you shouldn't eat that. If I see you not eating pork and everything, you just, that's you. But uh, if I eat some other kind of meat, uh, chicken or whatever, just thank the Lord. You know, I just thank the Lord for the food as God gave, uh, created the food. First Timothy 4 and 4. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be, re if it be received with thanksgiving. Thanking the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise God. And... Um, Verse 4 and 5, for it is sanctified by the word, cleansed, 
by the word of God and prayer, prayer. We thank God for providing the food. Praise God. You know what? You think about it. The food that you have in the refrigerator, you God allowed you to to store this food in your refrigerator. That milk that you had, you didn't milk no milk no cow this morning. God had provided you to have milk or whatever meat. You didn't go out and slaughter anything. Uh, and, and God provided you have some meat, and uh, you didn't go out and pick those vegetables. I know people sometimes have garden vegetables, but our, a lot of our food, I don't know about everybody, a lot of our food is because of someone else's uh, work, and we just went to the market to pick it up, pick up those foods. So, you know, we ought to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Praise God. Whatever the Lord it said, whatever. It said, for every creature of God is good, none to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. Praise God. And whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, whatever you do, any eat or drink, do it all to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go out and be kind to someone. And visit, you know, and, and, and call of someone. Do it unto the glory of the Lord. Give God that God gets the glory and praise out of it. First Timothy four and five. Read some more script. Uh, for the sanctified I think I've read that. Praise the Lord. Okay, four and six. Praise God. If thou put the brother in remembrance of these things, the things that were read, you know, be aware of the false prophet, false teachers, and uh, and then they're telling you that you no, know, you shouldn't do eat or uh, eat and abstain from marriage, forbidding to marry, or we have to be what the scripture said, what the Bible tells us, abstaining from meats and things like that. You go with what the word said, and I say, keep in remembrance, thou shalt be a good minister. As he's ministering to the people, and you want to grow spiritually, uh, thou shalt be a good minister of Christ, Jesus Christ, nourished in the word of faith and of good doctrine, good teaching, whereunto thou have attained. You warn the church of false teachers and continue in the word. Praise God. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Read your Bible. Stay in your scripture. Praise God. Stay in fellowship. Praise God. Spiritual growth. There's higher hype and deeper depths in the Lord. Praise God. There's spiritual growth. Praise God. That's spirit man. But refuse. It says nothing to do with profane and old wise tales and exercising thyself unto godliness. So sometimes people want to get hung up on uh, 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 just talking about everything else. But the, the, the meat of the word. Praise God. Get into the word. The milk. As newborn babes desire to send some milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Or refuse profane and old wise fables. Praise God. Stay focused on. We're going to get into the meat of the word. Praise God. And exercise thyself rather into godliness. So, you know, it's good to exercise, physical exercise. Nothing wrong with exercising. That yoga, that's, a, that's, a out, of the, that's, that's out of the Christian thing. That's demonic. But uh, exercising is good. Working out for, you, for your body, you know, rather than in. Rather than uh, unto, you know, and, and godliness as much as we're uh, uh, habitual with uh, exercising, whatever the exercise that we're doing, be be diligent with godliness. Learn more about the Lord. Praise God. Say exercise thyself rather than unto godliness. But, but avoid foolish questions. Some people won't don't want to hear you tell people you must be born again. You need to be saved. You need to give your life to the Lord. They want to get off there and start talking about the genealogy, and they don't want to be con they don't want to be convicted. But uh, the word will convict you. Praise God! We expose everybody. As the word is a two-edged sword, dividing asunder the, the soul and spirit, and of the joint and marrow, and the discerning and thought and intent of the heart. Praise God! It is. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. But avoid uh, get get in get into the word and to studying. Everybody's required to study. As well as their pastor. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And then we have pastors, we can go to them and ask them questions when we don't understand. Praise God. And genealogies and contention, arguing over the scripture. We ought not be arguing over the scripture at all. That's no, no, no. Yeah, uh -uh. And striving God's word, God is standing for the word is standing for itself. God take care of his business and striving about the law. For they are unprofitable and they arguing and, uh, over the scriptures and over the law. The, the law was given to um, was given to the Jews, but grace and truth was by Jesus Christ. And we all under grace. Praise God. And avoid foolish questions. I, I sometimes I run across someone that uh, 
don't you want to talk about try to tell me you Romans 10 and 8 confession your mouth to Lord Jesus believe in the heart that God is raised from the dead thou shall be saved seem like they want to deviate go away deviate around that but that's the that's the beginning giving your life to the Lord repenting your sin as Jesus will come in your heart praise God not no contention for arguing, uh, fine, uh, uh, arguing about stuff we are not arguing we had to just walk away shake the dust off our feet if they don't want to hear we don't argue with others for about okay for uh first timothy four and eight for body to exercise profit little it says it profit little the physical exercise that we do it profit little. it does profit and it doesn't not saying it don't profit all but it profits little but godliness living for the lord is profitable unto all things having promise of a life that is now is in this life that we live and that which is to come eternal life to be with the lord praise god so godliness praise guys uh, praying and seeking the lord and and that relationship with the lord bodily exercise does profit profit little but there's no comparison we need both but we mainly need the spiritual uh part of the spiritual man we need to grow yeah, praise god on how to live on this world as we live as we are here first timothy 4 and 9 this is a faithful saying and worthy of all except this is valuable praise god and it's ex and uh ex praise god this is acceptable a godliness praise god living a clean life first timothy 4 and 10 for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach this is uh this is talking about the saints that they go through if you live godly you'll suffer persecution suffer suffer reproach how people the devil comes against you through people you know a lot of times people get offended because of somebody say something mean you it's not that person it's the spirit in that person that the, the person being used of the devil praise god so remember who battled this is it's not this battle is the lord praise god we just going to stand back we just going to wait on the lord to work things out and we have to let our words be seasoned with grace praise god praise god because we trust in the living god who is the savior of all men especially of those that believe praise god praise god if we labor in this world as we go through there's just time to there's trials that we face and we're tested uh our, our faith tested our faith our test is tested second corinthians 4 and 8 we are troubled on every side what's going on in the world people have problems men is born of a few days and full of trouble as the sparks fly upward we got problems everybody have problems but we got to give them to the lord so we can have that peace of god that passes all understanding heart pass uh, to keep your heart and mind keep your heart and your mind through christ jesus because the battle is in the mind but we trust god by faith he, he got it hallelujah pray we are troubled on every side yet not distressed praise god you know not because i'm trusting we have faith trusting in the lord we give it to him Get, we are perplexed praise god we don't know what some people you know situations we hear people saying one out of every six person don't have enough food and which is bad but i thank god that there's places where people can get food here in the united states i just uh, but feel with uncertainty they don't know what to do some people like that may not be able to pay their rent and different things but but not despair because we got our hope in the lord you know but not in despair because you something's in despair that means you lost all hope it's like a boat in the middle of the ocean with a hole in the center of it and it's just water just dripping out of that boat but we're not in despair because god jesus is our hope of glory he, he you know he's, he's our hope of glory uh second uh corinthians 4 and 9 persecuted how the enemy come against and but not forsaken not abandoned by god cast down but not destroyed not defeated we have victory in christ jesus we win 4 and 10 always bearing about the body the body it, it, mer, bear, excuse me always bearing about in the body the body the dying of G, the lord jesus that the life also of jesus might be made manifest in my body praise god knowing what the lord has done for me and people can see jesus let your light so shine before men let me see your glory and glorify your father which is in heaven praise god first timothy 11 4 and 11 these things command and teach teach praise god hallelujah we all know we have victory. We're conquer conquerors in, uh, in Christ. You know, we win. He's going to look out for us. No matter what the situation happened in our life, what's going on. We're not perplexed. I mean, we are, are 
whatever's going on in our life, physically, if it's perplexed, problems, city. Like it's no like it's not gonna work out, but God's gonna work it out for our good. All things work together for the good for them that love God, which are called according to his purpose. Four and thirteen, till I come again, praise God. I think I I think I, I better miss one. Okay. First Timothy four and twelve. Let no man despise your youth. So Paul is letting Timothy know, don't let no one just look down on you, but be thou, be an example of of all believers. In words, as you speak, and in your lifestyle, in charity, showing love for the br brethren and for the people that haven't accepted Christ, loving kindness have I drawn thee. In spirit, same the same spirit, be one as Christ. In faith, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord. In piety, clean living, praise God. And till I come, this is Paul talking to him, till I come, give attendance to reading. God wants us to read our Bible. Read your Bible, encourage being exhortation, encourage one another. Encourage yourself in the Lord. The word will lift up our heads, lift up the head, prayers, and be doer and doctrine and to doctrine. My Lord wants to be this doctrine is teaching. Doers of the word, not just hearers only, deceiving your own self. Praise God. We're living epistles, being read of men. Praise God. And uh first Timothy four and fourteen. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which it was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hands of the presbytery. I'm not pronouncing it right. Presbytery. Presbytery. I'm going to pronounce it. These were the elders that laid their hands on on, uh, Tim on Timothy. Praise God. He's got a gift. And God gives up whoever you want to, whatever gift you want to give, whoever you want to give through the body of Christ. Praise God. He gives a gift. Praise God. This is an edify the body. Not just for you. It's for it's not for you. It's for the edify the body of Christ. Praise God. And uh, so he has a he has a gift of laying hand. And he said, not don't neglect it. So God, has, if you have a gift from the Lord, and use your gift. You know, that's God to you. Got to wait on your calling. Wait on, but use the gift. Praise God that God has for you. Verse four and fifteen. Meditate upon these things. What has what I said or the things that are said about the false prophets and the uh, praise God and the believers and I praise God as we go through different things. God is there, but never leave us alone. And a lot of okay, four and fifteen. Meditate upon these things, give yourself wholly into them, that thy prophet may appear to all. Praise God. We're gonna profit in God, praise God. Take heed unto yourself and unto the doctrine and continue them. God wants to continue his word. Praise God. For in doing this, thou shalt save thyself and them that hear thee. So, you know, we are, we are out there. We are, um, God wants to be used us as witnesses for him. Letting, telling people about the goodness news of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Appreciate you taking time to listen. And we, we, uh, we're we done with the lesson. And so next week, the Lord's Wednesday, next, uh, next, next Wednesday, Lord's willing, uh, be on. I'm going to download my broadcast and uh, y'all pray. Keep me in your prayers. God bless you. Just a beautiful lesson. Praise God. And uh, I'll be on Sunday on Gospel Truth at Church of God in Christ at 10 o'clock on, on Facebook. And I'll be in the scripture teaching us our Sunday school. And our pastor follows on God, on on, uh, on Gospel True Light Church of God in Christ. He'll be on at 12 o'clock. He'll be teaching, bringing forth the word. And on Tuesday, uh, the First Lady uh, Dorothy Bradley, uh, First Lady Dorothy Bradley, she'll be on at 12 o'clock on, on Tuesday, teaching and prayer and Bible. Man. God bless you. Merry Christmas. You be encouraged. Praise God. It's about Jesus. Praise God. It's all about Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. Every day is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Every day is the Lord's day to serve the Lord. Praise God. God bless you. I thank God for you. You keep me in your prayers. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.